He then walked away laughing. Alan's cell door was now open and he was starving. He knew he could not go to dinner because that would be it. Life as he knew it would never be the same again. He knew if he went to dinner he would get turned out by purple so he just jumped out of his bed and ran to the door slamming it shut which locked himself in the cell. He was so hungry but this was the only way he could be safe from purple. Moments later Alan's door flap opened and it was purple again. He was angry, real angry. He then said to Alan, why did you lock yourself in your cell? I told you to come to dinner with me but you didn't listen so you will pay for this. Alan got some courage and said to Purple, You don't scare me, I'm never going to dinner with you. I know what you are and I know what you will do to me if me and you were ever alone in a cell together so I will never share a cell with you. I have a very short prison sentence of only two weeks so just leave me alone. Leave me to do my time in peace. I don't want any trouble and I definitely don't want to get turned out in prison so just go away and leave me alone. Purple's rage grew even more now as he said to Alan, Woman you will listen to me and when I catch you, you will spread your legs for me because all of the trouble you have given me I'm not going to go easy on you when I catch you and clap your cheeks. I'll be back tomorrow to catch you when the guard opens your cell door again. Alan then ran back to his bed and put the covers over him to hide from purple. He was just so scared and didn't have a clue what to do. A few more hours had now passed and Alan's stomach was rumbling incredibly loud. With no food Alan was not sure how much longer he could last but then he looked over and saw the sink. Bingo. At least he could drink the tap water from the sink to quench his thirst. When Alan walked over to the sink he could see green dirty lime scale all over the taps. It was disgusting. These taps hadn't been cleaned in years. He then thought to himself if the taps are this dirty imagine what the water tastes like. He had to just drink it because he had no choice. There was just nothing else in his cell which he could eat or drink. He then turned on the tap and brown water came out of it. After a while the water turned green. It was disgusting but he had no choice but to just drink it. He had two choices. Either he drinks the green dirty tap water or he drinks the water in the toilet. The tap water looked like the best option. When he finally drank the dirty green tap water it was disgusting. The water tasted like liquid metal. After drinking the dirty tap water he pressed the emergency button on his cell to call a prison officer over. He didn't know what else to do so his only option was to report the incident to the officer in the hopes that Purple will be punished for what he tried to do to him. Two minutes later Alan's door flap opened and it was a prison officer. The officer then said what is it? What do you want? Alan then replied saying officer you need to help me. Purple and other inmates on the wing are trying to get me to come out of my cell so they can turn me out. Could you save me from this and punish them for what they are trying to do to me because this is wrong on so many levels. No one deserves to be turned out in prison. Why can't I just do my time in peace? The officer then laughed and said this is prison so getting turned out is part of the prison experience for some prisoners. This is perfectly normal. Don't worry I've heard after you get turned out a few times it no longer hurts and starts to feel good so you will be fine. Don't try to fight it. Just give it up because it will only be worse for you once it happens. The more you make them wait the more they punish you when they finally get it. 
Alan was shocked by what he heard from the prison officer. He then said to the officer please I'm begging you, please help me, please save me from getting turned out in prison or at least move me to protective custody. The officer then started smiling while saying, what's in it for me, why should I put my life on the line just to save a woman like you from getting turned out in prison, but since I am a nice person I will save you. Alan now felt relieved and was now happy the officer had a change of heart. The officer then said to Alan I will save you from these bad guys but I'm going to have to be compensated for my work. You are going to have to give up your cheeks to me. Alan was now even more shocked by what the officer just said to him. He then said no, you are not supposed to be doing this to me. You are meant to be helping me, why can't you just get what you want from a real woman instead of trying to get me? The officer laughed even louder while saying, a real woman, a real woman, have you seen the requirements that real women want nowadays? The most basic woman nowadays who is a 0 out of 10 in looks wants a man who earns 6 figures or more per year. The 